Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a relaxing cook with me and clean with me. I'm gonna be making Trisha Yearwood's sweet and saltines recipe and she also calls it Christmas crack. It's so good. And then after that, I am gonna give you guys some extreme cleaning motivation that will hopefully be relaxing and get you guys motivated to get up and clean with me. This video is also going to be a collaboration with my friend Jennifer and her channel is House of Hunts and she's going to be giving you guys a Christmas tree and some cleaning motivation today as well on her channel. She has the sweetest little family and I'm going to have a link to her video down in my description box so you can go check her out and subscribe to her and show her some love and make sure you tell her that I sent you. All right, let's jump into this recipe. It's super easy, so you're gonna love it. You're gonna need saltine crackers, some semi-sweet chocolate chips, brown sugar, some sprinkles, and then also some butter. First, we're gonna start with putting our saltine crackers out on aluminum foil. Make sure that you spray your aluminum foil with nonstick cooking spray before you do this, but we put the salty side down. Next, in a medium saucepan, you're going to put in a cup of butter and then one and a third cup of brown sugar, and you're going to mix them together. It only takes a couple of minutes, but you're gonna mix them until it is like a caramel color and it's all fully mixed together. Now you're just gonna pour your mixture over your crackers evenly. Next, make sure that your oven is preheated to 425. You're gonna stick your crackers in and let them bake for about three to five minutes until it is bubbly on top. When you pull your crackers out of the oven, you're gonna pour over one and a third cup of chocolate chips, and then you're going to use a spatula or some other, you can use a knife, whatever you have, to spread the chocolate out evenly over your crackers. And to make them a little bit more festive, I decided to put some sprinkles on top. Now you're gonna just stick them in your freezer for about 15 minutes. If you don't have room in your freezer, then you can always just stick it in the fridge overnight. After you pull your crackers out of the fridge, you're just gonna break them up into pieces and they will break super easy. You don't have to worry about what size the pieces are. It's fun to have them all different shapes and sizes. And then you're just gonna stick them in a container with parchment paper lined on the bottom. And I actually got this little container from the Dollar Tree. I love their Christmas containers and they're perfect for if you're wanting to give someone a homemade delicious treat or something like this, any baked goods, it's perfect for that and it's only a dollar. So as you can see, this was such an easy dessert for you to make for Christmas and it's so festive, especially if you're not a big baker like me. All right, now we're moving on to the cleaning part of the video and I'm hoping that this will give you guys some extreme cleaning motivation. I know that whenever I watch cleaning videos, I always want to get up and clean or sometimes I'll even put the video on while I'm cleaning so I can listen to the music and kind of hear whoever's talking, um, give their advice or tell what they're using. I always love finding out about new products or tools that make cleaning easier. And my favorite type of cleaning videos are usually like power hours or things that show that you can get a lot of cleaning done in a short amount of time. Y'all let me know what your favorite type of cleaning video is down in the comments just because I love knowing this stuff so I know what kind of videos you want to see on my channel. So the first thing that I needed to start with was the dishes. So I washed any dishes that I could wash by hand and then I put the rest of the dishes in the dishwasher. Now, my favorite part of the kitchen to clean is usually my sink, and I don't know if it's because it's white and I just love to see it cleared out and know that I have no dishes to have to worry about. <laughs> um, but 
I always use these little scrub brushes too and the one that I used to have was from TJ Maxx and then a subscriber actually sent me this one because I, they, I guess she knew that I was looking for a new one and hadn't found one that I liked so she sent me this one so thank you Liz for sending me that but um, y'all let me know what your favorite part of cleaning the kitchen is since we're working on the kitchen today I would love to know what is your favorite thing to clean in the kitchen in the comments below And speaking of messes, this is what our elves on the shelf did. They got into our candy in the pantry. Now I'm going to be using my Mrs. Myers Multi Surface Spray, and this is in the peppermint scent. I love this scent for Christmas, um, but I'm just going to be using this to wipe down our backsplash. It definitely needed it, and then I'm going to be cleaning all of my appliances and the countertops. And I'm giving in way too fast, way too fast We can't go on Now I'm using the Method Daily Granite Cleaner for cleaning my countertops. We do have granite countertops, so if you have granite and you are looking for a really good cleaner, definitely try this one out. Not only does it work great, but it smells amazing too. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool Now I'm going to clean off my stove and I'm going to use the Mrs. Myers Multi-Surface Spray on this as well and honestly I probably should have cleaned it before I did the countertops. I don't know what I was thinking. That's usually the order I do it in. And then I'm using the Method Stainless Steel or it's called Steel For Real for all of my stainless steel appliances. Now for my stovetop pieces, I usually will take them once a week and wash them by hand in the sink. So I did this the other day, so right now I'm just pretty much wiping them off, but that's how I kind of clean them a little bit better. So if you have a stovetop like mine, that's how you can clean them. Never thought I would jump, oh what a
Now for my wood countertops, I always use the Method Daily Wood Cleaner and I always talk about this product because it is one of my absolute favorite products, mostly because of the way it smells, but it also leaves my countertop looking super shiny and I just love it. I try and then I mess it up, that's the story of my life. Say yes, say yes, I'm at the coffee shop. Alright, so this is the last area that needed to be cleaned in the kitchen, so I'm just going to wipe down my table with the Mrs. Myers Multi-Surface Spray again, and then I'll be done with all of my cleaning. Alright y'all, so I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was hopefully relaxing and gave you guys some cleaning motivation and even a new fun Christmas recipe to try. If you have any fun Christmas treats or even casseroles or any type of recipes that you would suggest, will you leave them down in the comments below for me? I'm sure that other people want to see too, but I definitely like trying new things and I would love to hear what you guys have as your favorites. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe if you're new and don't forget to go watch Jennifer's video over on her channel. Like I said, the link is below and she's going to give you guys a fun Christmas treat as well and then some more cleaning motivation. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!